Hi everybody, it's Michael Fisher from Pocket Now here at the Samsung Unpacked 5 event from New York City, checking out the Samsung Galaxy Gear's successor, the Gear 2 Neo. So folks, if you've seen our video on the Gear 2, the Neo will be very familiar and so will this video. I hope you enjoy it all the same. The Neo is very, very similar to the Gear 2, uh, right down to the fact that the Galaxy has been dropped. Samsung has dropped the Galaxy branding for this device because it is running a special build of Tizen. Not that you would be able to tell because uh, judging from just from a UX standpoint, it responds very similarly to the Android powered Galaxy Gear. But you will notice, if the gear will wake up, that you can have a custom graphic on the Neo, whereas the gear confines you to this kind of stark wireframe on black uh, feed. Nice to have that added bit of customization. You'll also notice the Neo is made of polycarbonate, where there's a lot more metal on the uh, original gear. And you'll notice the removal of the screws, which I rather liked, and the addition of a home button, which I rather don't like. But the home button is probably going to appeal to some people more than... Uh, I should not have done that. There we go. The addition of the home button is probably going to appeal to more people than, um, than having to swipe down to go back all the time, though you can still do that. But hitting the button may be more intuitive for some. Uh, I'm not a big fan, but maybe you, you will be. Who knows? There's our settings menu. Very, very similar responsiveness. Actually a little more stuttery than we're used to on the gear, even though the hardware is very comparable. The display is the same. This may look like a camera up here. It is not. Since this is the Neo version of the smartwatch, that is an IR transmitter. You can control your television with it, just like on the Gear 2 uh, or any other device that receives uh, you know, IR input. It is not a camera, but it is mounted not on the wristband, but on the device itself. That means that that, in addition to the moving of the speaker and microphone combo to the body itself, means you can change these bands out, which is great for customizability. Now you don't have the big old wart on the bottom here. Not the wart, the big old module from the initial gear. And finally, turning it around to the back, we'll see a little window on the back there that looks into your soul, or your skin rather. That is the heart rate monitor that makes up a big part of Samsung's pitch as a fitness device. We're going to take a longer look at the Gear 2 Neo once we get one in the review labs. This is just a quick look, but very, very light, much, much lighter than the first gear, or at least it feels that way, and um, a minimum of sacrifice to get that uh, to get that reduction in weight and slight reduction in size. Michael Fisher with Pocket Now with Adam Lane doing the camera work. Stay tuned for more from Unboxed, Unpackaged, Unpacked, wherever we are, the Samsung event in New York City. I'm getting tired.